Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Anaconda Python in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, how do we actually install Anaconda? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to the official website, which is going to be anaconda.com. Now from their official website, you should be able to see this UI here. Now at the top right, you should be able to see the free download button or link. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now what we need to do is we need to download the .exe file for us to start the installation. Now you can go ahead and start the registration here, but for now, let's go ahead and skip this one by clicking on the skip registration at the bottom of the submit button here. Now once you click on it, you should now be able to see the download button. In this case, you could go ahead and click on the download button here for Windows since I'm using Windows here. And from here, you just need to wait for the exe file to complete installing, uh, downloading. In this case, this is around 900 MB. So let's go ahead and wait for it to complete downloading. And as you can see, the download is now complete. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, it's going to open up the installer. So what we need to do now is we just need to follow the steps that you'll be seeing here. Let's go ahead and click on next here. Now it's going to show you the license agreement here. So in this case, you can go ahead and read through all of them. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on I agree. Now from here, you have the option to install the Anaconda or Anaconda here for different users. But in this case, we're just using the just me here. But again, if you want to use this for or basically install this for all users, choose all users here. But for now, just me is good. Let's go ahead and click on X. Now you need to specify the destination folder here, but it will actually create or specify the destination folder for you. So if you want to install this on a different folder, make sure to click on browse here and select that folder. But for now, let's go and select the default one, click on next. Now from here, it's going to say, warning, this initial folder contains one space. This has caused problems with several unacquired packages. Now if you see this one, make sure to remove that. So if you see any spaces here, make sure to remove any spaces here. Let's go and click on next. Now from here, it's going to say, uh, or it's going to give you the advanced installation options here. In this case, it is recommended that you remove all the options here. So in this case, if it actually a bird or if you see in red here, like allow other programs such as VS Code, PCharm, etc. to also detect Anaconda as primary Python 3.1 on system. In this case, if you see any red here, make sure to um, return the setting it again. But again, it is recommended that you move everything first here before you're actually add, going to add other options or other, other settings here. But again, if you see any red, make sure to turn that back on. Now, if you want to enable other sections here, you should be able to see any red or notes here. Again, it's recommended that you get the default options here. Let's go ahead and do this and just click on install. And from here, it's going to start the installation. And once the installation is complete, you should be able to see the final screen, which is going to be the uh, boot up for that specific type of, uh, um, or the boot up for the Anaconda app here. So in this case, let's just wait for it. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.